Believe it or not, I actually had another video prepared for today. Because uh, I, I try my best not to just do reactionary videos. But this was something so bewildering, so bizarre. It's almost as if South Park made the skit b back when they, the Americans were championing percentages and quotas. And when I watched this video, I generally thought that it's staged. But no, the, the, the local news covered it. So here we have the pilot. And as you can see, there's a big red flag here because she's wearing civilian clothing, right? And this is actually part of what we're going to be discussing. But imagine you're in this airplane. Okay, if you don't feel safe, get off the airplane. But this is your captain feel. speaking, okay. but never like this. this. I'll stop and I will fly the airplane. Don't worry, I'm going to let my co-pilot fly it. He's a man. Okay. It's a total meltdown. The pilot okay, boarded in her street okay, clothes airplane, and addressed the passengers over the okay. intercom. Passenger Pam O'Neill couldn't believe what was happening. She said, let's take a vote. How many of you would like to take off now with me dressed as I am? Or would you prefer that I take 10 minutes to get changed into my cute little uniform? Then she's... You, th th this is unthinkable, okay? This is what the American academia is doing to a generation of people like this is cruel and unusual this was being drilled into her head that she is being oppressed that, that the patriarchy the magical cock and ball in the sky is oppressing her and one of the systems of oppression has to be the uniform right so now she as a pilot has decided in her infinite wisdom that the best course of action is to actually put it to a vote with the passengers to decide whether or not she should put the uniform. I mean, I guess this raises the level of confidence to astonishing amounts because you're going to think that, okay, well, if something bad happens, if there's an emergency, uh, then she can come back, you know, during flight and, and talk to us about putting it to a vote, how to avoid the mid-air collision, right? Uh, like, the uniform is something that you should be proud of. Like, allegedly, you have studied hard, you have worked hard in order to get to that place. Not everyone can wear the uniform. What are you doing? What, why is she having this meltdown? The only time that I have seen people having a meltdown like this was during high school, when you had the teacher come up and talk about her family problems that were at home. But again, like, at least you're not going to crash the high school. You know, you're not going to crash the classroom. And it gets even better. Like, l listen to this. Listen to this. She started talking about her divorce and political candidates. Okay, and the no, minute okay, she mentioned no, that, that um, a gentleman stood up and just yelled, whoa, enough. I you're did. scaring me. Another. I mean, yeah, like, if you can't keep your shit together before even the plane takes off, and you gotta consult with the passengers about whether or not to put your uniform. Like, what else are you going to consult with them about? You know, if we're going to do all the safety procedures, if we're going to do all of the rules and regulations that you gotta do before taking off, are you consulting with the passengers, like whether or not you're going to talk to control and tell them like you're going to lift off? Like, like what what else is there up to debate? It, it it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, we're going to put it to a vote whether or not I put my uniform on. And then she is surprised that people uh, do not feel safe. That 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 people people are a little bit bewildered by this, because again, the problem is the mindset. The problem is the ideology. That there have been female pilots. I I have flown with female pilots. Like it, it is possible. It is achievable. It, it is not something out of the ordinary. Uh, again, maybe because I'm in Romania and we have like a very small gender gap here. Uh, we, we have managed to accomplish this without uh, commissars, diversity officers. No, it's just like when you have a nation that's poor and impoverished, uh, the father does not allow the daughter to go to gender studies. It's like, no, you're going to be a pilot so that you can actually earn a living. Like, you're not going to go to this university, get in debt, and then come back to live with me uh, so that I can feed you for the rest of your life, right? You're not going to be a journalist. You're not going to be a social side. No, you're going to be a pilot, a doctor, you know, something that actually pays for a living. So in my country, we have female pilots, but they're not indoctrinated with this ideology that uh, basically society is there to oppress you and the political candidates. and Like, no, they, they, they are trained, they are drilled from uh, the, the flight school. It's like, it's kind of like the military. Like, you put on the uniform, you do what you need to do, you fly the plane, that's what you're paid for. You're not paid to educate 
the uh, passengers about political candidates. You're not there to discuss whether or not you put the uniform. You're not there to, to have this vote. Because last time I checked, uh, an airship doesn't require uh, voting in order to function. Another passenger, Randy so, Reese, uh, got up to leave okay. and gave a running uh, commentary on social media. Okay, Pilot so also not. insulted a couple on board. You, did I offend you? Okay, so did I purposely offend you? I did. The answer is yes. Flight attendants, please disarm doors. After 20 passengers insisted on getting off the United Airlines flight, the pilot quietly left the aircraft. Can, can you imagine just how difficult it is to work with this person? I mean, if you're the customer, if you're the passenger, it's one thing. But, but imagine actually having to work with this person. And I'm willing to bet that this type of personality is everywhere in corporate America. Like, th there is absolutely no sexist jokes, racist jokes, or, or, or anything that a person can do which would create a more toxic environment than a person that behaves like this. That, that has to stall everything, like like nothing works anymore, and now the plane can't take off, passengers feel unsafe. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the brand is taking another PR hit because of this, because honestly, if I, if I were to see a pilot, whether it is man or woman, I don't care, but if they're acting like this, it would give me a, a lot of anxiety the next time I get on a plane. Because the question is, who hired this person? Like, who was responsible for hiring this person? How did they get past the exams to the point where they actually got to fly an airplane? And why aren't those people held responsible? Why aren't those people held accountable? And why aren't those people fired? Because th this is unacceptable. You don't just get a person like this going through the cracks. Like, they must have knew. They, they must have knew that she has behavioral issues which make flying incompatible. Jesus. Like, again, seriously, imagine if it's an actual situation that is uh, requiring you to, to make immediate decisions. Like, what do you do? Do you go out and you ask the passengers? It's like, all right, let's put it to a vote. You know, the control tower says that I need to raise altitude, but uh, here on, on my onboard detection device, it says that I need to lower in order to avoid the collision. What do I do? Do I listen to the control tower or do I listen to the onboard? Let's put it to a vote. Oh my God. Th th this is like Rex. This is like Rex playing D&D, going like, my character wouldn't, but my character wouldn't fly the plane unless we put it to a vote. We need to put it to a vote, right? Because otherwise my character wouldn't. Let me know what you guys think. And if you scroll down into the pinned comment, there is a link to my Patreon as well as my Subscribestar. And if you donate even as little as $5, I am going to give you buyer's remorse in exchange for your support of the channel. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.